What's up guys, welcome back to Atlas News. We've got a wipe announcement. We all knew it was coming. Um, I was hoping we wasn't going to see it so soon, but with the new trade system they're implementing, they're going to have to wipe to get it all working by the sounds of it. We'll get into that further through, but this is just continuing basically from what they've said earlier last week and the week before with the, the, the release of the new market and the trade systems. But we'll read through this, we'll look at the patch notes, and then um, I'll give you a few of my thoughts at the end if you're interested. And as always, links down below to the um, links, <laughs> Tom, Tom stamps the different chapters if you just want to skip to certain things uh, down below in the description. And I've been trying to put them in the pinned comment as well. So yeah, there you go. Hope that's helpful. Market patch and wipe date announcement. Ahoy Pathfinders, last Saturday we discussed our progress on addressing the map flickering and PVE seafort claiming issues from the last patch. And although we aimed to get the hotfix out on Tuesday, we ended up being able to integrate these fixes with an early release of the new markets. The new build is scheduled for tomorrow. Again, the actual trading will not be available quite yet in this market patch as we are still actively testing its functionality and mechanics. Players will be able to craft a market at a smithy as long as they have the required advanced automation skill from the construction tree. For now, you savvy seafarers can check out the configurations and set up your preferences. Please let us know your feedback on how the market UI functions. Our crew craftsman has made a few renovations at the sea forts, but the construction is still ongoing. Pirates with an eye for aesthetics can expect further design improvements down the line. Additionally, sea forts now also display owner and tax rate. A number of balance passes have been made as well as we continue to observe the gameplay surrounding it. Upcoming white. Early next week, we are expecting to release the third part of the trade system which will introduce the actual trading functionality. In order to implement this, a white will be required. Currently, this is scheduled for next Tuesday, November 10th. For clarity, tomorrow's market patch will not include a white, but next week's trading patch will more information about the trading patch to come like i said we'll talk about this at the end let's get onto the patch notes private servers please see new configuration variables at the end of the patch notes new features market a new market structure has been added markets must be connected to nearby warehouse to function the warehouse must be connected to a farmhouse to fully function and the warehouse acts as a respiratory for trading resources for the market trade routes may be created between markets Preferences for resource trading may be set on the markets. Markets do not currently trade. Markets trading is in testing and bug fixing and will come out with a later patch. Trading will be automated based on preferences set on the market. A successful trade will generate some amount of gold coins. Markets have 150k health and are difficult to destroy. Crafting a market requires the advanced automation skill from the construction tree and may be done at a smithy some trade and market tuning values are configurable for private servers. Seaforts updated the train of the Seafort Island. Simple cosmetic updates to the look of the Seafort structures. This art is still a placeholder. Adjusted respawn times for some structures on Seaforts will still respawn quickly. Made some Seafort tuning values configurable for private servers. Updated data on the map about Seaforts, owner and tax rates are shown. Now only shown when zoomed in, performance while map is open should be improved. Increased defense towers damage resistance. Now the secondary numbers here are believed are what they've increased it by. So explosion damage received 100% increased by 70%. Explosive barrel damage received 100% increased by 10.5%. Catapult boulder damage received 100% increased by 28%. Ballista damage received 100% by 7%. Added immunity to melee attacks and liquid flame. Yeah, these uh, numbers are a bit confusing. They're not very clear as to what they've done. I can't work out whether, they, whether they've increased by the secondary numbers or whether they've been set to the secondary numbers. Obviously, that would make sense because they said increased. Um, so... For the explosion damage received, 100% up by 70%. I don't know whether that means now that explosion damage received is now 170%. Or whether it was originally 30% and it's been increased by 70% to make it 100%. <laughs> I mean, yeah. 
Uh, maybe I'm just being an idiot, but it doesn't very clear, and the next part makes it a little bit more confusing. Because uh, it goes, modified tower walls damage resistance to match defense tower. Explosion damage received 31%. Up to 70%? Increased by 70%? I'm not sure. Uh, explosive barrel damage received 31%. I mean, it wouldn't be up to 10.5, so it must be an increase to 10 point, of 10.5. Um, and again, I don't know whether the 31% is what it was previously or what it is now. Um, yeah, maybe I'm just being a complete idiot. I don't know. I'm having one of them days today, but um, it's not exactly um, crystal clear to me. Increased damage dealt by defense towers. Explosion damage, 100. Up to 250. Direct damage was 180, and it's gone up to 500. So maybe them other ones, yeah. Yeah, I think the secondaries are increased by. And these ones here, the increased damage dealt by defense towers, they've been changed to. So, explosion damage from 100 to 250, direct damage from 180 to 500. I think that's what it means. You can look yourself, I'll put a link, like I said, down below to this post, and you can have a little think for yourself. Like I said, maybe I'm being an idiot, but that doesn't seem very clear to me. Each one seems to make me change my mind, yeah. Bug fix, sea forts can no longer be catched on PvE servers. Bug fix, players will no longer spawn on sea forts. Misc, bug fix, the map no longer flickers. Bug fix, warehouses can no longer be placed on ships. Server config, private servers, new variables for sea forts, markets, and train have been exposed for server configuration. Add to base server averages of the JSON file. So you guys with private servers, there's a load of information there on the different settings you can use to alter things of course um, I'm not going to read for them, like I said, link in the description for this post if you want to check them uh, Known issues, old structures on sea forts did not get moved with the island the sea forts may not necessarily recognise these structures this will be fixed with next week's wipe or players can also simply destroy the old structures claiming issues with sea forts on PvP lawless uh, final note, as always, they're just reminding us that it's early access, things can change, yada, yada, yada. So, yeah, there we go, guys. So, obviously, the first thing we should probably cover is the wipe. I was personally expecting this, along with many other people. I was hoping we wasn't going to get it just yet. I was hoping maybe Christmas, New Year, it kind of made sense to me that that would be when it was. But it seems like they need to do a wipe to implement the trade system properly. So, yeah, we knew after the recent announcements that with some of the new things they want to introduce to the game, it may require a wipe, and unfortunately, this is one of them occasions. I say unfortunately, it's kind of a mixed bag as to how people are going to take this. Um, whenever wipes were mentioned before, some people have said, oh, if there's a wipe, I'm done, I'm not coming back, I'm sick of the wipes. And, and some people have been like, yeah, I can't wait for a wipe. Um... I'm all for wipes. Like I said, obviously now they're going to be doing more wipes from what they've said due to putting out more content and new features and things like that. Um, I'm in the camp of I want wipes, but I want set wipes for like once or twice a year maybe. Um, some people don't like that. I think it's good because they don't release any new content for the game. So it would keep the game fresh in my opinion. Um, but... Yeah, I mean, if they've got a wipe for new features, it's part of early access, then that's what we're going to have to put up with. Hopefully it's not going to be all the time, otherwise it kind of makes progression absolutely pointless. Um, and yeah, I know this is going to take, for want of a better phrase, the wind out of a lot of people's sails. And that's not just PvP or PvE, like, I think it's a mixed camp in both sides uh, as to whether people like wipes or not. Um... So yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what happens going forward, but we was expecting this and they have already said that some features might require wipes on release. So yeah, there's that. The new marketplaces, obviously we've been waiting for this. It's going to come out originally without the trade capability, but on the 10th of November we will get the trade capability. Uh, looking forward to the markets, like I've said already previously, I'm not going to go into it now, but I will just say again, I would like them to add the capability of trading items, blueprints, maps, maybe animals somehow. I don't know how they would do that, but um, yeah, I think that would be a good way to go with this eventually. Uh, otherwise, 
it's kind of left in the shadow still of the trading community that we already have, which is player generated by Discord and you know, advertising in game using obviously the player stores and things like that. Again, I've said in another video that I think it'd be cool if they somehow um, implemented the player store into the marketplace so that it would show on the market what you've got in your stores and people could use that to purchase from your player store maybe. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens with that in the future. The Sea Forts update, like I said, with the um, Sea Fort vid, when I talked about the Sea Fort in the update video for that, um, it was kind of lacklustre what the uh, Sea Fort looks like, but I did say you know, it's kind of a placeholder at the moment, so that's not going to be the finished structure. Um, and I hope it's not, because it's pretty damn lazy. Um, but it's to get the, the feature out and for people to use it and so they can test it and see how people take to it, what they need to do with it, all that kind of stuff. So it's fine, but yeah, they obviously mentioned there that some people have commented on what it looks like. Um, and uh, yeah, they've already tweaked some of the damage outputs and damage received kind of deal with it to make them uh, a bit of balancing. Again, I'm not sure what's going on in them numbers. I can't work out whether the secondary numbers are increases. I mean, they must be, but yeah, it, yeah, just check the patch notes down below and you can read it. have a little look for yourself and see what you make of it i might just be half asleep or something and uh, not fully understanding what they mean by that but yeah i imagine they've increased by the secondary numbers the other thing is obviously <laughs> the issue with the maps we've had recently it's been a real pain in the ass trying to uh, bed hop and stuff like that to jump to your different bases boats and what normally takes me five ten minutes has been taking me like 30 minutes because it's just been really hard to just even select anything on the map and obviously it happened when they released the uh new sea fort islands they're saying now hopefully it's been fixed in this patch so um yeah hopefully that's been sorted out there we go guys like i said wipe is incoming most of us kind of anticipated this was going to happen i was kind of holding on for christmas or new year for a wipe but um yeah, I kind of still half expected to see one before then. Um, and yeah, here it is, November 10th. So um, hopefully this is going to go pretty smoothly. This wipe will be a good thing if once we've got the wipe done, um, everything's working nice and smoothly and we're having less issues like stability-wise. They've mentioned before when they've talked about the stability issue, which obviously comes up a lot, that they're working on back-end services and um, hopefully with a wipe we'll be able to see some of the results of that tinkering with the back-end um, that sounded wrong but you know what I mean um, so yeah we'll have to wait and see if that happens and the wipe will definitely be worth it just for that alone but um, yeah, like I said earlier, it's going to be a mixed bag, a mixed reaction to what people think to this. Let me know what you think down below. Um, I've still got another video to do on some of the previous updates. Obviously, we've had quite a few recently. I hope they keep up with this kind of information output. But we've, like I said, we've we've seen before with the last one, it only lasted a few weeks. So we'll have to see what happens. But fingers crossed they are going to stick with this output of information and updates and stuff. Because it's better all around. It shows they're active. We can see what's going on. We know what to expect. And uh, yeah, I think it's the least they can do <laughs> after the way this game's gone since release. My thoughts on wipes are I would like to see a wipe once a year, twice a year maybe. Just to keep the game fresh and stop it stagnating. Because... There isn't lots of content. They don't release new content. They don't release new maps or new DLC or anything like that at the moment. Maybe in the future they will, but at the moment they don't. And if that's the case, after like so many months, you're done. Uh, there's not much to do. Even in, in PvP, I, I know people are going to argue with this, but like I said, like, there's only so much that you can do. If you keep getting wiped and that, then fair enough. But if other companies don't get wiped, what, are you happy for some big tribe to constantly hold loads and loads of land while everyone else is just getting ruined by them. Um, you know, I think a wipe now and then, even in PvP, would be a good thing if they're not going to release new things. Um, so, yeah, I know there's loads of different thoughts on that. That's just my opinion, guys. You don't need to take that as, uh, like, a set-in-stone thing from the devs. It's nothing to do with them. That's just my opinion. And um, that's what opinions are. They're just opinions. It's not fact. So uh, take that how you will. I know loads of people agree with that. Loads of people don't agree with that. 
And let me know down below what you guys think to wipes. Like I said, this is a bit sooner than I'd hope. And are we going to see loads of wipes? Because that will be a problem if we're going to see loads of wipes. They're saying they'll only do it when necessary. But, I mean, we've already seen, we're going to see one now already with a new feature. So, are we going to get this every time they release a new feature? Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Um, it is early access. I'm kind of fine with it. Um, as long as we get a good couple of months between wipes at least. But we'll have to see how it goes, like I said. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the little bell so you don't miss any more of these updates. And you don't miss my live streams. And if you'd rather watch live streams on Twitch, Moshman Gaming on Twitch, give me a follow. And uh, yeah, cheers for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.